gentleman, John McGregor again from Foundation Expo 88 and the 25th anniversary of World Expo 88 People's Committee, reporting here from Red Hill Gallery, continuing our special series of focus videos with some of the movers and shapes behind World Expo 88. We have Mr. Graham, Graham Campbell Ryder here on my right, who may have viewed our previous videos on how he was instrumental in changing some of the retail laws at the time of World Expo 88 that helped the inner CBD become a great part of the success of the hosting of the Expo. And um, we have a bit of an intelligence test. First of all, can people notice that the scenery has changed in the setting here? Uh, we now have a, uh, a Queensland mud crab here, which is a reference to the other mover and shaker from World Expo 88 that we interviewed the other day, Mr. Gary Balkan of Kookaburra Queens fame. And uh, the Queensland mud crabs he served on the Kookaburra Queen during World Expo 88 were very well received, so I hear. And uh, we've also changed a painting. I'm going to let your eyes scan the background for a few seconds to try and guess which painting it may be. And uh, it's in fact this work on the very left by former uh, Brisbane City Councillor, uh, Councillor David Hinchliffe, a uh, member for Central. And um, he's also exhibited here. We did a teaser uh, leading up to a future David Hinchliffe interview the other day, which you may have already seen. And we certainly hope to. Uh, interview him with regards to his role with regards to the Save the Pagoda Committee Fund, which was later successful in saving the Nepal Peace Pagoda from Expo uh, for Brisbane City. And I wanted to ask Mr. Grant Campbell Ryder in this particular interview um, some more about his experiences before World Expo 88 in terms of visiting other world expositions overseas. Because from what I understand, Graham, um, you wanted to understand a bit more about what a World Expo was all about. So you visited two expos prior to Brisbane's Expo 88 as, as, as a study tour. Yeah, with a group of the directors and members of the City Heart Business Association, right. who were retailers, bankers and whatever. Um, we went over to Scuba in 1985 and then to Vancouver in 86. And we learned a lot, mm -hmm. no doubts about that. Um, and just the, the way it worked and the attitudes of the people and the friendliness of it all. And, the opportunities that were there. In, I think we'd all agree that um, I remember Godfrey Mantle was on the trip as Jimmy's on the mail, so he knew what he had to do with his restaurant in the middle of the belt. But I think we'd all agree that when we then saw Expo occur, open and run, there was a lot of similarity and right. a lot of the end results of Expo at, at Brisbane that mm -hmm. come out of Vancouver. Lighting, the way they'd set the streets up and all sorts of things. And uh, you know, Vancouver, you, you know, that you went to too, where they had the wharf area as mm -hmm. well, and two sections of Expo over there. Yes. But I must say that, you know, then after that, the redevelopment of the areas were important. That was the good mm, thing about Brisbane yes. as well. Yes, and you mentioned um, Jimmy's on the Mall. Uh, for our viewers who may not know, who may not come from Brisbane, uh, Jimmy's was... Can I talk a bit about Jimmy's? Is that all right? Because um, Jimmy's came about... Was it with the first original Queen Street yeah. Mall or, or the second extension? 82. 82. And it was, a, it was a restaurant right in the centre part of Brisbane, um, a la carte, you know, international style offering. And um, Jimmy's was a popular rendezvous as well as place to eat in, in Brisbane City in those days in the 80s. And especially during Expo 88, you'd have a lot of people coming across the Queen Victoria Bridge, entering the Queen Street Mall and having something to eat at Jimmy's on the Mall, on the Mall. And um, Jimmy's even today is, is, is very, very popular. and. It became a bit of a unofficial, I should say, a rendezvous for those who missed those expo days after the expo concluded. And it's still here today, so if you are in Brisbane, please, uh, Jimmy's on the Mall is still there, so please come and eat at Jimmy's on the Mall when you can. That's John McGregor and Graham Campbell Ryder signing off for the Foundation Expo at YouTube channel. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.